Hello, I'm logged into the university website with Desktop Anywhere and I'm accessing or on a web browser the Northumbria website. If we select eLibrary, okay, that will take us um, to another web page and we can now select different resources from the uh, e, uh, electronic laboratory resources. Uh, you can select Nora, okay, and that will take you to like a, a globalized search system. What I'm going to do specifically today is instead of just going on electronics and engineering, I'm going to get you to broaden out and look at some business aspects. So browse resources by subject. Okay. This has now taken us to a different web page and we can select all sorts of different areas of the university. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go for business and management in a moment. But you can see we've got education, engineering and physics, computing, business and finance. So there's all the normal stuff there that you would expect for engineering. But I'm going to go to business and management for the moment. In here we've now got electronic resources uh, that the university signs up to where we can actually access information. So I'm going to go to business sources premier. Okay. Now I've already logged into that site. It would probably, uh, if you were there, it would probably ask for some credentials. Okay. So I've now got um, uh, uh, EBSCO uh, host and it's identified me as the University of Northumbria because I've logged on through desktop anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I put a query into supply chain management and I'm, I've got a query on integrated circuits and I've been having a little look round. I found a paper that looks quite interesting man e managing the, the chip supply chain. It's a paper talking about how people are managing uh, fabulous production. Okay so uh, well, that this looks like it could be quite an interesting paper for some of those business aspects to management of a technological aspect. So it's quite a, quite a useful paper. Again, uh, there's full PDFs available for this one. If we uh, go back to the top, okay, I'll just uh, go PDF full text at the side here, or I can go back to the listing. Okay, this is the listing that I searched through. It had seven things in it: uh, seven steps to the lower, lower supply chain, RFID tags, knowledge creation in supply chain. Okay, and right the way down the bottom here, uh, we found this paper that was quite interesting: e-managing the supply chain. And again, HTML full text, PDF full text. My personal preference is always to get the PDF full text and then save that to my U drive. So I've got a copy of it. So that I don't know exactly what I was talking about. Now, because I'm logged into the university using Desktop Anywhere, uh, that paper will be downloaded directly to me. Okay, as we can see here, we now have that paper. Okay, and you can scroll around inside there and read that article. What I'm going to do, one thing I always prefer to do is to to uh, save it um, so that I know I've got a good so that I know I can come back to it at another point in time. Okay. Back down here. Okay. And save target as. Oh, no, I didn't like that. Different browsers operate in slightly different ways sometimes. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm in the PDF, so I just click save on here and I can save that content out of my U drive. Might be worthwhile putting a sensible name on there. So that's another quick clip showing you how you can actually use different aspects of searching to find um, quite complicated and quite diverse information. This could be very useful um, in an engineering context if you're looking at UK spec, specifically things like the business aspects, the finance aspects and so on, rather than pure technical.